Okay, I'm back. So, my cucumbers are cuking. Look at that. Ain't that a sight? I gotta get that one before it gets stuck in the fence. Look at that. Look at all these cucumbers, man. That's one, two, three. Let's see four right here. And this, I had three of them off the ground. I got another one. Let's see five. But they cover up. You gotta look for them. It's pretty cool. And these cucumbers actually taste pretty good, so I had a, um, it'd be nice if I kept track. I need to get a log and uh, start keeping track of what I'm doing. Note to self, you know, make a note to yourself. Uh, but uh, I had a cucumber last year that didn't taste very well. I don't know if it was the ground it was in or what. I can't remember the brand, but I didn't buy it again. And I can't remember what this one was, but I'm going to save the seeds from this one because this one tastes delicious. This one's good. I ate some of these uh, Friday. Me and some of the uh, crew at my new job. I have not tasted the beets, but I gave away some Friday. And they're doing good. So I'm starting picking those. Uh, there's quail eggs. I think I'm going to make another attempt to build another incubator. And uh, just leave these right here. Try and build another incubator. And uh, try to hatch some more of them because these guys at least, they're going into their second year. I better hatch some of the eggs while they lay in this summer. I don't know how long quail really last, but I've heard that they are. They usually live a couple of years, maybe three. Now they get their eggs and, and get some new or some babies. Um, what else? Oh, I'm weeding. So this is how I normally dress. This doesn't. Um, this doesn't uh, always attract the ladies. You know what I mean? But, this is my simple dress. This is my boots, my jeans, and a t-shirt. Simple dress. Wear the same shit every day. So, yeah, if somebody's interested in me, they, they're just interested in me because it ain't what I got on. <laughs> or they're interested in what I'm doing, which don't bring a lot of interest. So, I got a weed. I got a weed. All of this, uh, the corn, I don't need to weed. I've watered and fed everybody, but this is the weeding weekend. I got to put on these knee pads and uh, weed. I got, I got a lot of weeding to do. I'm going to collect my weeds and I'll add them to my compost pile, which I got a good one going. I started a community garden at my new job. This watermelon is doing all right. It's got um, blooms. Hope I get some watermelon. I got another one you can't see in that bean patch. Just at least three of them in there. The mint corner is doing good. Got this ground cover. I can't remember what this is, but this is not uh, the herb. It's not the urban herb. More sunflowers out here. Those sunflowers look like they're about, they're over six feet now. I don't know if it's the earth here or they like the cucumbers. Because these out of all the sunflowers I planted are the biggest. So I don't know if it's the ground. It might be that I put a crap load of compost down here. I don't know. But I'll definitely do cucumbers and sunflowers again. Um, out of, uh, see, this is the organic life right here, man. If you do stuff organically, it means you don't use a lot of pesticides. You're going to share your food with nature. I mean, you, you can't have it all to yourself. That's why you gotta grow, you know, a lot more than, uh, 
can't go just enough for what you think you need. You got to go way past, you know, what you think you might need. You should do at least double it, quadruple it. And that's how you get to sell some, if you ever do. Um, my mulberry trees in the front. I was eating on them every day, which is great. Probably for like a month or two. And I believe, might be them blackbirds. Um, I've seen them up there. I think they finally discovered them. <laughs> and the mulberries are gone, man. That's it for the mulberries. I got to eat enough of them. Did me some good. But you are going to share some of what you grow with nature. Unless you're going to try and kill everything. Or um, there's my mulch pile. I got to finish that. I'm not going to finish that this weekend. But I've mulched half of this. This pile was all the way back here to the end of this wall. But you're going to share with uh, nature. I got right now roughly... Um, and when I say uh, beds, like back here, there's two beds. They're not all the same size. Like, they're not all the same shape because, you know, your pinky ain't the same size as your toe. Your finger ain't the same size as your foot. Digits, you know what I'm saying? And somebody came by and asked me, uh, you seem like you just put down stuff wherever you think about it. <laughs> It's not uniform. Well, I tell them, I said, nature ain't, you know, that ain't how nature is. And you do that um, totally commercial farming thing, and that's how you get wiped out. If you got, you know, 20 acres of corn, which there's a place for that, but that ain't what I'm doing. You got 20 acres of corn, and some come by and want to eat your corn, man. You, you're done. You kind of messed up. So it's better to do stuff in smaller patches, especially with this one I'm working with here. It's hard to explain that, you know, this is not farming. This is a uh, homestead. But it seemed like to most people, they think it's a farm. It's not a farm. This patch back here, it's got some... Uh, I can't remember. It's red mustard. These are red mustards. It's a couple of red mustards. More beans back here. The radishes, I didn't thin them out. So, you know, if I get some radishes out of there, I'll be excited. I've been working my new job last week. Got new associates, new friends. You know, I like my new job. And New people I know. Try to keep my mouth shut on the job. And I try to keep my mouth shut about the job. Because, like a friend of mine said, I'd like to keep my job. <laughs> Enough of that. Here is, I just water everything, so it's kind of laying down. Some, uh, a little bitty patch of uh, buckwheat. I put this in. When I built the, put in the chicken fortress. Um, you see that out there? Like that right there? Most of that's kudzu. And usually it's a pest. It's kind of a pain in the ass. But I've discovered it to be a great source of feed for my chickens. So I feed my chickens kudzu. Um, some seed and uh, they get their land ash, which they love that stuff. So, and it's a uh, it's a good herb. It's good for you too. You can make a tea out of that. And but today is a uh, weed day, um, so I got to suit up. I'm already booted up. I'm gonna put some knee pads on. Put on my big hat. I'm not gonna comb my hair. I might comb my hair, but uh, put on my big hat, my knee pads, and uh, can start weeding because I gotta weed this stuff. So I got 16 beds. Like this is one bed. That back there is two beds. They're big. Let's count them. One, two, three. This is a bed of uh, 
blueberries and my fig tree. Four, this is a bed here. You can't see that bed because those are going to see, but it's a bed right here. This, these are some of these raised beds. Some of them, they're not. They're kind of raised, but they don't have borders. Like this one's got logs for borders. That's a bed. That's a bed, so we're going to count them. One, two in the back. Three, four, five. Count them. Stay focused while we six. This is cabbage that I think I need to. Uh, I don't want to share too much with nature. I think I need to harvest these and put something else in here. I'm talking, I get distracted. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. Uh, my greenhouse is one bed. Eight. This, uh, next to the greenhouse, where these potato patches. This whole thing here, all of that, that's one bed. That's the stuff going to seed. That's why that stuff looks messy. It's going to seed. Stay focused. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You think I know this by heart, but I'm more of a natural person. Do things more natural. Tan. This is tan. This is the blueberry and fig. This is like the first thing I put in here when I got here. The blueberry fig patch. That's tan. I don't know if I count this as a bed because I don't know what this is going to be yet. I don't know if it's going to be a pond or a pool or two trees and I don't know. Let's focus and do it again because you lost track. One, two, <laughs> three. Bear with me. <laughs> Four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And go to these smaller beds that I got in the front where the chickens were. Well, they was uh, free ranging. That's ten. Corn, eleven. Beans, twelve. Sunflowers, thirteen. Other corn, fourteen. Some people may not count that, but that is a bed because once I start dumping compost on there, I'm going to keep using it every year. These beds, I'm not going to change. And I might have lost count. 12 beets. 13 is okra. 14, it counts as a bed because this is the only thing. 14 is a bed. Uh, cucumbers. 15 is the sage. 16 is the uh, bell peppers. God help them. 17, this is one bed. And back there, you can count that as a bed. Or like four rows, which is one area bed. 18. Well, you can even say 19, because that's a bed, and that's whatever. So 18, 19 beds, and roughly 30 I don't know if I can say 30. I can't say 30 birds. They had 30 chickens. I had 30 chickens and I had 20 quails. I'm pretty sure I lost some. I didn't count them. It's hard to count them. They move around too much. So, you can say roughly 20 beds and 30 and 20. 50 birds. We're going to count all of them. The quail is so tiny, like they like three to one. So, the 20 beds, 50 birds. Right now, it takes me uh, to do like my daily chores, just regular maintenance stuff that is watering. And uh, watering and feeding, it takes me about an hour. You know. Unless I get distracted and start doing something else. A lot of times I'll be doing extra stuff. But water and feeding takes me roughly an hour. So if I water everything and I'm walking around, I haven't set up uh, any, uh, uh, I, haven't, I haven't done any sprinklers because that wastes a lot of water. And I'm probably set up like, uh, next year I'll probably set up uh, 
like an automatic like a drip line or something like that or little sprinkling systems everywhere or like above ground drip line because that that doesn't waste a lot of water i may do something like that uh, or lower to the ground sprinkler like a sprinkling system i may do something like that if i can afford to next year but right now it takes me roughly walking with a hose uh, feeding all the chickens, making sure that water is full. That includes the quails and turkeys. I got a few turkeys in, inside. I haven't brought them out. Uh, it takes me anywhere from an hour, I would say, to an hour and a half. You know, I got roughly 19, 20 beds and, you know, 30 chickens, 20 quails. So you could say roughly 50 birds. They haven't started laying. When they start laying eggs, then I'll be, uh, it'll be, uh, and then once a week, mm, or at least every two weeks, sometimes I could probably go, well, once a week I try to clean out, like, this, this inside of this coop. I could probably go two weeks, and then, uh, once a month or every two months, I'm not 100% sure how long that goes. But I had to clean out um, definitely every three months. If I want to keep the, I don't want it to smell like ammonia around here. I had to clean out. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bottom of that coop. So they got about, um, I want to say, if you can see the bottom of this coop. That's about uh, four inches. It's just the length of my, just my digit, my finger. It's like the length of the finger, which is like, it's about four inches, I think. So they got like a four inch deep bed. So at a minimum, every three months, I had to dig all of that out. I just did it uh, last week. I dug all that out. I replaced all of that bottom, that bedding. Basically, I gotta clean out that bedding. These guys in the front, uh, it's only two of them and they kinda got a whole space. They basically got to run. I was gonna open this up and let them intermingle, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, let me find him. There's a rooster in here, and I don't know if I'm gonna do that. And I think that's him. He's like the biggest one and he's starting to crow. And these are different breed of chickens, so they're not built like these guys. These guys had a, uh, see, he got his big crown. He had his crown early. And the rooster in the back had his crown early. So I know at least there's three of them crowing in the morning. And sometimes he just start crowing in the day. So I was gonna open it up and let them intermingle. But I think they might fight if I do, so I don't know. <laughs> might let them fight and work it out. I don't know. Like the females and the rooster, they'll get along. He'll take he'll take over them, but introducing another rooster to a rooster. I mean, I had two roosters together, though. I don't want to have like a serious fight. I don't want to kill each other, but that's still in uh, consideration. Because I would like them to actually have a whole run and let them all be in the coop together. You see how you just threaten her or whatever you do? But that's what they do. Right? They kind of use each other with this wall here. But if I open that door, I don't know what's going to happen. You know, the original plan was to let them all, you know, inhabit this, you know, this whole run. But uh, I don't know. I'll see, I might not do that. But they're not going to be running all over the yard. That's how I lost all my chickens last year. That's why I had to start all over. And I won't have eggs again until September, which is ridiculous, but this is what happens. Because I was getting, um, I was getting the five gallon bucket in a week. It's not a five, it's like a three gallon bucket. But in a week, I would almost fill up a bucket like that with eggs. It's a lot of eggs. You know, and that was just from 10 birds, so. 
Now, uh, my goal eventually is to fill up a bucket in a day. Then I'll be, uh, I'll be in business then. But I think what what the birds I got now, if they start laying, I'll probably do um, a five gallon bucket. I'll fill up a five gallon bucket in a week because I was filling up with ten birds, a five gallon bucket, half of a five gallon bucket in a week. So I have roughly. Um, no, wait a minute. Yeah, no, it'd be more than that. Because I was going to say 20. I'll have roughly, um, roughly 30 layers. So, um, yeah. Oh, I'm getting a call. I got to go. That's it. It's time to weed. Shalom.